hi guys yeah, welcome back to my youtube channel my name is inka in today's class we're going to be making this beautiful and rich and tea bubble design for this style today i'm using this at the fabric and i'll be using this ashoki for the neckline so let's get into it so it's going to have ashoki in front so this ashoki is very wide so i'm likely going to fold it in this way to create a beautiful and unique piece for it so for this ashoki i i bought four um piece you know it comes like this so in yoruba it is called away so i bought four away for it so because i want her to use part of it as her head tie okay so the first thing i'm going to do for my fabric is to cut out twice my client's gown length measurement with extra for the seam allowance a length is 66 inches so i'll measure the 66 inches two times with extra four for the seam allowance this is the emmy allowance Then, with a little bit of extra for the Emmy allowance. So, let me make that to be four. But then they'll be joining on the shoulder. So, I can just make that to be six. Okay. So, there's extra six. Then, I'll cut it out from the fabric. So, the next thing is for me to fold it into two equal part so that i'll slice it again one will be for the front and the other will be for the back so this is the back here is unfold so i'll place the front on top of it So I folded the second one. This is the front and is like half inch more than the back from here. Can you see? But half to one inch so that there will be slits in front. I'm going to be slitting the center front. Okay. So let's start. I'm going to measure down our nipple points. My client nipple point is 13. This is 13. Then the next thing is for me to make sure where I want the cow, because it's like a cow booboo. Where I want the cow to start from. And the cow is starting very low, like almost the hem of the dress. So since the total length is uh, 66, I'm going to make the cow to start about 46 inches. 46 inches, okay? Then on that 46 inches, I'm going to put a hip measurement divided by 4. So when you're taking your measurement, put into consideration that this one here is half inch shorter than where this one is starting from. So this is starting here. So your measurements will start from this inside one, okay? So here I'll put the hip, hip divided by 4. My current hip is 40. 8 divided by 4, that will be 12 inches. 12 inches. And I'm going to put seam allowance. I'm going to put seam allowance of 2 inches. Okay, then I'll roll it straight down to the hemline. And I'm going to create a cow shape here. So I'll roll it straight to the hemline now. Then I'm going to create the cow effect like this. Can you see? Can you see it? Can you see? Then we're almost done because it's very simple. 
so the, this is where a hand will come out from and it is 13 that's a nipple point so if your nipple point is 10 you make sure from here you measure the 10 okay so if your length is 60 you come up by 20 inches so meaning you are starting at 40 you know in my own client's case my part at 46 for the cow effect okay so the next is to put the neck line put into consideration your measurement is starting from here from this inner part so i'll note that point and i'm going to measure because i want to slant the shoulder i'll first measure three inches and at this other hand i'm going to measure one inch one inch downward because i want it to be boxy i don't want it to be too slanted so i'll connect these points together Then we are going to be joining it back. So add half inch to that line for your seam allowance, okay? Next, you put the neck width. So I'm going to be using four inches for the neck width. Four inches, starting from here, okay? For the back, the neck depth is going to be two and I'll connect it together. Then for the front, the neck depth is going to be 9. The neck depth will be 9. If you don't want it to be open too much, you reduce the neck depth for the front, okay? But I want it to open this way. So please always adjust the neck depth to your own preference. Don't always follow the neck circumference verbatim because there's somebody that posted on this tutorial that and uh, when she made us her neck depth was too low yes individual clients okay what your clients want might be different from what my client wants so here now you can see i use two inches for the neck depth for the back then the front i use nine so in your own case you can as well reduce the neck width and also the neck depth like if you don't want it to be too open you can make your neck depth to be six inches and reduce your neck width to like three inches instead of instead of uh, four that I'm using here now. Okay, instead of using four, you use three and a half, three. You know, then just adjust your neck to your own preference because my client, what my client wants, is different from what your client wants. So always adjust your neck depth and please always use your own measurements. All this video is just for you to learn how it is done. Not that you are going to now replicate it exactly the way I have done it using the measurements I use. That's why sometimes I don't even want to be mentioning the measurements I use because how can you go and use the measurements I use in a video to make something for yourself? It will not fit you because that is not your own measurement. So always use your own measurement use your own measurement please always endeavor to take your own measurements and use accordingly thank you because i just just feel i need i need to address this because i felt bad when she was telling me that the neck depth was too down for her but that is what my clients want in fact there was no complaint no adjustment because that is what my client wants so i'm cutting on the back neckline first can you see then I'm cutting on the shoulder. So I didn't measure anything here because I just used the total width that this Kampala can give me. So when you're done cutting it, you remove the remove the down part. That's the back. This this is the back. Then after that, you cut the front neck, okay? And this is what you have. So the next thing you want to do is for you to go to the hem line. From the hem line, you're going to measure the length that you want for the front slit. So in my own case, I want it to be 22 inches. Point. You slit the center front. You slit, you slit the center. All the way. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out facing i'll cut facing for this neckline you decide where you want the facing to stop 
so this the first thing is going to stop a little above where your slit is ending so let me just put it this way then i will trace the shape of the neck so i place the neckline on it like this so i'll trace out the shape of the neck Okay, so the facing will be two because this is just one side now. So I'll cut another one exactly like this. Okay, so this is it. So for the facing, I will still cut another one here so that I can have the two edges. Can you see? So this is how mine is looking so i'll just complete it now so i'll just cut from here to this point okay then i'll just place it underneath this one and to stitch this on top of it so that i will complete the width of the neck area for the facing hope it's clear So this will complete this now, okay? So this is how my facing is going to look like. By the way, I'm going to join the center like this. I'll just join the center. Then this will be uh, the two sides. Just pin this together because I'll just top stitch them on top of each other the way it is. So this is how it is. So I'm going to place this on top of each other now. And I will stitch here all the way to the down part. So this also I will take to my machine. I will sew from here all the way to where I mark where I want the slit to be. Okay. So when I'm done stitching to this point, I'm going to M the opening that is the slit here. So I'll cut facing so that I will use it to finish the neck depth for the back nicely. So I'll place another fabric into two folds like this. So I'll trace out the shape of the neckline. Then after that, show for four inches all around and I'll rotate it and cut it. So this is what I will use to finish the back neckline. Next, I want to put band for the round sleeve, for the round arm of the booboo. Okay, so I'll cut the band. Okay, so the width of this band is going to be four inches or four and a half. So you're just going to be attaching it to the round arm. Okay. So this is going to just be at the round arm circumference like this, okay? I guess it's just going to be like this here. So as I'm sewing, I'll sew like this all the way. First thing I'm going to do is to store the center front. I'll stitch the center front.
and I'm going to stop exactly where I notch for my slit to start. So I backstitch. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to open my seam. So, so this is the slit. So what I'm going to do is just to end this slit just by doing it this way. Fold quarter in and then another quarter on top, okay? So backstitch and cross to the other side. Make sure you fold the quarter in and quarter on top this way. And you stitch all the way back to the hemline. So can you see we are done we are done with the slit the slit is ready okay so keep this front aside then let's work on this facing i already pin i've pinned it the way i want it to be so i'll stitch on it this way can you see i'll also repeat the same step to the second side can you see so the next thing i'm going to do is just to place the two of them together now right side to right side and i'm going to stitch the center front together okay i'll stitch it all the way down to the hemline So from the good side, this is what we have. Can you see? This is what it's looking like from the good side, okay? So the next thing you have to do is just to place it on top of the body. This is still the front body. I'm still working on the front body. So the right side, the right side of this Ashoki will be facing the wrong side of the, of the fabric, okay? So, right side of the Ashoki will be facing the wrong side of the Adire, okay? Then, you place on top of each other. Make sure you align the V part very well. And then, you are going to stitch the neckline, okay? Stitch, and you get to the center of the V. Keep your needle in. Lift up your foot. And then, you rotate to the other side. Just rotate the fabric this way. Then you're going to stitch the stitch all the way back to the side. So can you see? So you can notch. So I'll turn the facing to the good side. And I will top stitch, but I will just use my aiming gum. I'll use my aiming gum to help me to keep it in place. And I'm going to iron it down. I'll make sure I iron it well. Then I'll okay, I'll show you how to do it on the ironing table. Let's go do that. So also finish the neckline of the back. For this time around, the facing is going towards the wrong side. So now you bring the back. So you place the facing to the right side of the body and you stitch the neckline together. Then I'll notch turn the facing to the wrong side. So make sure you center it at the center. So 
So you still stuck in your hemming gum inside. Okay, so if you look from the style, so at the down part of the ash, okay, you're just going to bend it in, bend the raw edges in like this. Can you see? Thing you have to do now just to take back to your machine and you top stitch at the edge all the way and then across over like that. From the wrong side, from the wrong side, this is how it's looking from the wrong side. Can you see? I already finished the neckline for the back with the facing and has turned it to the wrong side and iron. Can you see? So just match right side to right side on top of each other, right side to right side, and then from the neckline, you are going to join together with half inch. So, can you see? So, open it up like this. And then that band that I cut, I'm going to attach it to the round arm. Can you see? This is how it's looking. So repeat the same thing to the second side. So this is the second side. So before I proceed, I'll weave here. So the last thing I'm going to do now is just to close the side. So match them together. Make sure you cut off the excess from the band. So next, I'm going to close it all the way down. So the last thing is just to aim the down part, fold half in, and then fold like this, okay? And that's it your dress is ready don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i'll see you in the next one bye shanti rich auntie rich auntie the guy plenty dollar when you oh, saw her eh? bill yes, oh she get money oh plenty get money job plenty plenty money oh she spent dollars not even naira oh she said the real rich auntie any other rich auntie is a fake Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Hey.